Taurus. What's up, Taurus? What's going on? What is going on? Difficult times, is it? <laughs> I don't know. Well, you know, actually it could be because we've got, as I'm filming this as well, we have got a Mercury retrograde. There's a lot of like fishy energies to be honest, around, so I wouldn't be surprised if you are struggling, in all honesty, but, um, yeah, I was very tempted to say that, there must be a reason for it, so, yeah, well, I hope that this reading can bring you more light, I hope it can bring you more clarity, we'll see what's coming through, this is your soulmate reading for February 2021, and uh, if you'd also like to, this is just, you know, me just mentioning a few things before I start, if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month, if you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information will also be down below as well, they are done within 24 to 48 hours, and the last thing I want to mention is my, um, Etsy store is also linked down below so on there there's beautiful beautiful divination pieces that you can actually use so these are physical items that I would like ship to you guys and I have been for like two years now <laughs> um I'm just blown away you know with the amount of like response that I've had to my Etsy store it's incredible but there's divination pieces so there's like charms letters coins um there's also crystals, there's also the items that you can use to manifest different areas of your life with. So there's um, bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, uh, there's also face masks as well. There's embroidered cards you can put under your pillow, in your wallet or your purse. There's just some really beautiful items on there. In all honesty, I make them so of course, like, you know, I'd say that biased obviously in that sense um but yeah check it out check out the review section if you want to see how people have seen results of these items as well but you know these are things that I make and I put my energy into for you so um I do the same with these readings of course as well um so yeah all the information is always in the description box below or you can email me okay so let's see Taurus Taurus so this is you soulmate energies and then the outcome. And uh, for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, so you can always check out your other sign readings for more info. Okay, Taurus, let's see. Magician, okay, yeah. There's, there's like some, you know, fishy energies around. I wouldn't say Mercury retrograde energies are fishy, but like, it, you know, it throws things off. It can just feel uneasy. It can feel annoying. It can feel like there's a lot of miscommunications in the air. Um, so, Magicians ruled by Mercury, it's what I mentioned right at the beginning of your reading, so that's on your side. You've got the Sun here as well, we've got the Empress and we've also got the Death card, so yeah, you might be feeling a little bit, well, not so great. Excuse my pun, I don't even think it is a pun, but you might be feeling a bit dead. I'm sorry Taurus, you know, but look, the Death card leads to transformation, like the death card is transformation in so many ways because it's death and rebirth, right? It's feeling not so great to then knowing that there is an opposite side of that. It's about feeling sad but knowing that there is also happiness on the other side, you know? So um, the sun here is trying to uplift you, it's trying to create this positive atmosphere for you in February no matter how, you know, how hard things are. Just know that you may be in the thick of things, you're moving through it, you are progressing through it. The Empress here is you in many ways, whether you're male or female. Empress is ruled by Venus. Venus rules Libra and Taurus. So this is a beautiful, beautiful energy of, um, you know, that, that Taurus energy really surrounding you. So you have a lot of self-love towards yourself. You're taking care of yourself. You are, you know, uplifting yourself. You're trying to find solutions to your problems, right? You're trying to find solutions to feel better within yourself. Now, those solutions could be um, I'm seeing like a mother energy, maybe that resonates in some way, um, trying to find solutions in that sense, you might be trying to find solutions um, around, you know, mother figure, you might be trying to find solutions also um, in regards to trying to figure out a way to feel happier as well, okay, so there's a lot of self-love that I see here. Now on the other side, and you might also be feeling sad because of this whole soulmate situation, or it could be something that's maybe career related or something else related, but I just feel like that's what we have going on on your side. Now on the other side, we have the chariot, we have the ace of pentacles. Ten of wands and the star card. Let's see what the outcome is whilst we're at it. We've got the high priestess. Six of swords. 
and Eight of Wands. Temperance. This is really fascinating. Okay, so obviously you're not feeling great on your side. This person's also not feeling great on their side because the Ten of Wands here shows some kind of burden. Like they may feel like things are over. They may feel like things are too much, too intense, but I don't feel like things are actually over, 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 right? It shows that you may feel like things were just, things have been over. It's over, right? It's not actually over. It's over because maybe in your mind you think it's over, but when action is taken, it's not completely over. Um, it takes two to make something work. And I also feel here as well is that they feel it's over because of what you may have said to them. Um, they feel like it's over based on, um, you know, actions and words. Like, look, even if part of it is their fault because, you know, whatever happens in a connection, like sometimes it's not all black and white. There are gray areas, there are nuances, right? So I think what's really important here to understand is that when one person takes action, it can bring you some clarity. I really feel here that on both sides, the two of you feel like it's over, but you're not accepting 100% that it's over. Does that make sense? Like, it's it's not over. It's it's not over. I, I don't know what else to say here, Taurus. It's not over. Um, so, you know, that's just what I'm seeing. It's it's not over. Um, it's not the end. Um, it really isn't. I mean, even with that Ace of Pentacles, they're very tempted to... Well, I, I feel like you're more so tempted to reach out because you've got here Magician energy, right? This is Mercury energy, this is Communication energy, um, and the Sun here as well. I feel like many of you have also realised the things that maybe you didn't do so well in the connection because, you know, you've really analysed things. And on their side, they are, like, they want to communicate with you but they're also holding back because they feel like, okay, well, what if you don't want to hear from them, you know? So they're, they're kind of just doing that. And um, I feel like here also with the star as well, there's an energy here of sort of like healing, which they are really doing a lot of. And they're, they're trying to move forward, but they also feel a bit stuck. Um, the chariot here shows that they would be very happy to receive messages or any kind of communication from you. And the ace of pentacles also shows that as well. I, I don't feel like the situation is over from what I'm seeing here. And um, even the High Priestess here shows that both of you intuitively know that there's so much more to this. And it all starts with open and honest com conversations and communication and clarity on both sides. But it's almost like both of you are also scared to do so based on what each other think. Um, so there's that, all right? And that's really what I'm seeing in February is that there's a lot of thinking going on on both sides. Um, but there's also this kind of sense of like, can I do it? Can I not? Now, there may be communication between the two of you, this Eight of Wands. I would say let it flow where you can, right? Um, it takes one to make that breakthrough, which I think is quite significant. But I also feel as well that there is this sense of like both of you thinking on each of your sides that maybe it's just over, you know, maybe this is just the end. Um, but the High Priestess shows that both of you also feel like it's not the end. So, ha, ah, it's, it's one of those things. It's like, I don't feel that things are over um, from where I see things. And you may get, um, on your side, you, you may get like messages that maybe this person wants to say something to you. Maybe this person is trying to give you some kind of communication or messages on your side, especially with temperance as well. There's that sense of like, okay, maybe there's something that needs to progress here. Maybe something needs to happen. Um, and there's just that sense of like, okay, well, what's, what's going to happen? You know, um, it's one of those things. And that's really what I pick up here. Like there's more, there has to be more, right? So it's like you both know that it's not over. It's just that one person is so much more stubborn. And I hate to say this sometimes, Taurus, but sometimes, you know, the Taurus energy can be so fixed and so stubborn. Um, I'm not saying that it's all completely your fault. That's not what I'm saying at all. But, um, you know, even on their side, they could have Taurus in their birth chart um, or they could have a fixed sign in their birth chart, which also keeps them reluctant to do so. And so I just want to mention that as well. All right. Um, it could be you, but it may not be you. Um, but yeah, you know, that fixed energy keeps things fixed, right? It keeps things stubborn. It keeps things stuck at times. So temperance here, again, with that sort of like strong Sagittarius energy is about like, let's keep things moving. Let's see where things go. And I do see that there can be communication here, but there can also be a chance of like things, you know, getting miscommunicated. So just be aware, try to be diplomatic where possible, um, where emotions come into play. 
there's definitely either you or them that can get very triggered by emotions. So I would say, like, you know, try to keep things light emotionally. Um, but that's what I'm seeing. I'm just seeing that things are not over. All right. So, yeah, this is your reading, um, Taurus. If this resonates with you, of course, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, take care, of course. And yeah, that's, that's what we got. Ta-da! Um, so yeah, all the information for private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items are on Etsy. And de definitely take care, everyone. All right, bye!